Back to my channel, it's your girl T, and we're back with another one. Ay, 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 ay. So I'm here today. I'm gonna shoot a little dinner video. It's gonna be super easy, super simple. You can make it with the ingredients in your house. I'm gonna be doing a butter garlic noodles with chicken and a cream sauce with onions and peppers. Super easy, super quick. Um, since you made it this far, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. So I have all my ingredients laid out. We're gonna go through each. We got the noodles. I'm gonna be using angel hair noodles for my pasta. I got my chicken from Wegmans. Um, I'm about to clean this up, season that up. These are the seasonings I'm gonna be using. I have my onions and peppers that I'm gonna cut up. I have my flour for my chicken. I have some white cooking wine. This is the Wegmans brand, but you can use whatever brand you wish. And then I have heavy cream. They actually ran out of heavy cream, so I got whipping cream heavy. I'm not sure if that's the same thing. I know with this one you can make um, whipped cream out of it, but I just got it, and we'll see how it does. And then I got some fresh cilantro to add some freshness. And yeah, we're gonna get started. So I'm about to get started with cooking. I'm about to cut up some peppers and onions. I'm gonna show you guys that when I'm done. But over here, we have Yanni cleaning the chicken. We got the lime and the vinegar. Cleaning the chicken is one of the worst parts because it's the most tedious. So my favorite sous chef gets the job done. Oh wait, you know my sous chef? You're my sous chef. Please, the bonnet though, please stop it. You see the hat, the chef hat. The chef hat. Okay, so Yanni's over here cleaning the chicken. I'm about to go over here, start my water for my noodles and cut up my peppers and we'll be back. Onions and cilantro. I don't usually add cilantro, but I have it, so I'm gonna see what that's fitting for. Um, I only have a little bit of peppers because this is all I had in the house, so we're just using in house groceries for this recipe. So then I showed y'all before what I seasoned my chicken with, but I'm gonna just show y'all as I do it. So we're gonna start off with the garlic powder, some garlic. Give it like a generous amount because garlic is not really salty, but it adds flavor. It so is garlic. <laughs> it adds flavor, not salt. And then I'm gonna add some onion powder. Not as much because I don't want it to taste like too much onions. Just the right amount. Then I go. So paprika. Paprika. <laughs> Paprika, this adds a little bit of color. Spice. A little bit of spice, it's not too spicy, but just a little bit. My favorite adobo, now adobo can get very salty, so you try not to OD on it, and it's only four pieces of chicken, so I don't really need that much. So I'm gonna just go like that, hit it back one more time, and then I'm gonna add Half a packet of the Sazon, the Goya Sazon. This is also for coloring. So I'm gonna add, this is salty too, so you don't need as much because I did use adobo. So I'm gonna just add enough. That's the whole pack. Damn, that was damn near the whole pack. That's okay, it's not gonna be salty. Shit. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna go in, clean hands, remember, go in. Mix, mix, mix. You see that sazon coloring, the orange color, and that's from the sazon. Okay, so I just put some olive oil in the pan, just enough to coat the bottom. 
I got my chicken stock, I got my white one, and I got my heavy cream, and um, my chicken and my flour. So first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a piece of chicken, I'm gonna lightly dust some flour on it, just so we could get a little crunch on the chicken. It's not, we're not like making fried chicken. We're just lightly, lightly battering up the chicken for the oil. And then we're gonna deglaze that same pan with the oil and add our onions and peppers. Okay, so now our four pieces are in. Make sure you don't overcrowd your pan. Four is enough for this pan because it's just enough room. So we're gonna let that cook evenly on both sides and get a nice crunchy look. Let me talk to the people coming back. Okay, so we're not gonna cook our chicken fully through because we're gonna put it back once we make the sauce. So we're just gonna let it cook on each side for a little bit just so it could get like a little golden color, a little crunchiness. Then we're gonna take it out and start our sauce. Yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna take our chicken out. It cooked for about maybe like four to five minutes on each side. That's from the flour, the whites at the bottom. We cooked our chicken about halfway through. That's how it looks. Now, with the same little flour and oil mixture, we're now gonna add our onions and peppers to the same sauce. And this is called deglazing. So we're gonna use all this good flavor from the chicken and cook up our onions peppers. Then we're gonna add a little bit of cilantro. We wash it. A little bit of cilantro. A little bit. Then we're gonna add a little bit of cilantro. A little bit. And then we have our noodles in the sink. Freshness to the food. Garlic. Can I forget the garlic? Garlic is my favorite. I like to use the garlic in the jar that's already minced because chopping up garlic takes away too long. Amazing. So I'm gonna just add like a nice spoonful. Nice little spoonful. Nice little spoonful. Nice little spoonful. And then we just kind of stir it up. For a little bit. Little. <laughs> a nice little. Okay, then we're gonna just stir it up. It smells <sighs> amazing. Oh, lost one. Come here, like it. You. All right. Now, once that cooks for about two minutes. We're then gonna add our white wine and chicken stock. I'm gonna get there in just a second. We just wanna cook these peppers down a little bit. Make sure they're soft, a little, a little soft. It's still a little hard, so we wanna make sure the chicken is good, but we don't wanna burn the garlic because once the garlic is burnt, it tastes burnt, so. You gotta watch out for that. So I'm gonna turn my fire down. And now down. that. I'm gonna turn my fire down a little bit. And I'm gonna let that cook for about two minutes and then I'm gonna add my sauce. Now that our onions and peppers cooked for like four minutes, <laughs> we're getting a little brown. We're gonna add our white wine. White wine. One fourth of white wine. One full cup of white wine. One fourth. I'm just, I'm just here for support. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> white wine. And then we're gonna add our chicken stock. Chicken stock. Pour it in. 
And now we're gonna just stir it until it reduced by half. You're gonna know once it reduced by half, when it starts getting bubbly, and um, it's gonna be half. Half of the time <laughs> in and out is gonna be less. Half, okay. So. I also mix my onions, some red and some purple. I mean, red and purple. <laughs> some red white and some purple, because I ran out of purple. So, okay. So now that our sauce is reduced, oh child, don't show me. <laughs> oh. Now we're gonna add our heavy cream. This is three fourths of heavy cream. Just gonna add. And then... What's in here making Rasta pasta? This is not <laughs> possible. Get all that good stuff, all of it, all of it. So as you can see, our sauce is bubbling up and it's kind of thick, which is, this is like the perfect consistency. We don't want it to get too thick because we also have, have to add the chicken. It's gonna make it thicker. So, let's add our chicken. Drown the chicken. Yeah, right. Just drown the chicken. Just drown the chicken. Follow my YouTube. I know YouTube, Yanni. Okay. Follow my Instagram. I know Graham, Yanni. Oh, me yeah. Snap. Follow me on the gram, man. I really be chefing it up. If you know, you know. If you a real aviator, you know. If you, you know. a what, you know? If you a real aviator, mm -hmm. you know. You know. You follow me on the ground. Mm -hmm. See that. Okay. Alright. So now that our chicken is well coated, we're gonna let that cook for about 15, 10, 15 minutes. And then yeah in the meantime i'm gonna work on my pasta over here get that right and seasoned up i'm gonna turn the fire down so wow. let that cook up and now we're gonna come over here stir that butter we're gonna stir this butter and garlic together I put a little bit of bar, uh, a little bit Barley. of butter, <laughs> a little bit of butter, a little bit of garlic, and a little bit of olive oil. I um, might add some adobo or salt and pepper to bring out that extra little flavor, so it's not just plain noodles. So we'll see you when we put everything together and plate it. <laughs> 